What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome to a incredible track by the name of Flow Villa. This has been newly released on the MX Bike Shop by King MX818 and my god it is such a fun track. I've run two laps in preparation to start doing this because I imagine that there'd be some insanely big jumps just based on the name and I was definitely right. Now before we jump into it I did just want to mention that it's not just me in the server today it's just my voice only bearing in mind we've not got everyone in here but what what well, one of my mods smigdamp came up with an absolutely incredible idea to make the members feel a bit more involved in the channel so usually i would just hop into testing by myself run my laps record my video and that's it by thought as it, well smiggy fault i didn't think as a little way of giving back to those members what i'm going to do from now on is if i do ever do videos like this where there's a new track release and i just want to hop on and spin laps i can throw it up on a server uh, give the members of the channel special access uh, via a password and they can just hop in the server and spin some laps too and hopefully get to see their either name or even see themselves on screen throughout the video and just a very small thing that I thought was a really nice idea so massive shout out to Smigdamp for that. If you do want to become a member of the channel then there is a link in the description down below or if you just go to my channel there should be a join button on there somewhere and I do just want to mention that this is for the intermediate slash pro level memberships not the rookie one uh, as they get special uh, access to a discord channel as well so discord's down below membership how to join down below go and check it out and i really appreciate all the support so thank you very much and thank you smiggy for the idea so getting into this track it is nuts like it, it the, the name speaks volumes that you can get one hell of a flow going around here this jump here get it down the back break oh clean that jump there is the hardest jump on the track. Now, I hopped on a 250 because I wanted to send Charlie my outdoors setup, even though it's purely stock suspension, just with some geometry changes, as he asked for it. Um, but uh, uh, the first lap I done, I was like, oh god, maybe, maybe I need a 450 round here. But now I've done another lap and a half, and I'm slowly memorizing how the track goes so much fun like you can fully just shut your brain off enter flow state and absolutely bark around here the scaling is super super nice and if no one was aware king mx is the same person that made scrub and dirt i know a lot of people enjoyed scrub and dirt when it came out similar sort of vibe where just really fast corners massive jumps but i'm not sure what he's done between scrub and dirt and now but the track is just so much better scrub and dirt it's a million times better the jump scaling is really nice the ruts are good uh, you can go so so fast i don't know what line do we do here if we go inside just go double double oh, then we're singling into the corner little tabletop out of here and it's it's really nice actually getting some of these higher quality tracks where you haven't actually got to think and try hard too much that like you can fully shut your brain off around here and just have a really fun time playing let me see, oh we've got some turning rollers here which can be a little bit tricky if you hit them at too much of an angle but I try and get all the turning done beforehand, pop up and over this little roller into this big stretch of a double round to the outside and I think, let me, oh I'm going to try it, there's a triple coming out of here which I don't know if I can get from the inside, oh, have the break, oh and again it's just so bloody satisfying when you get lines like that not got the speed to do this this time so i'm gonna check up just hit a little double and absolutely wad myself so that is the downside if you don't get the drive perfectly on the 250 you're probably not going to make it up and over some of these bad boys um but then i guess you can just hop on a 450 and and have no issue i i, I guess i think that's the best way of going about it there's a little split section coming up here as well. So if I go around the outside and we go on the left, got a nice little sand roller section. And I haven't worked out which side is faster yet. I feel like the right hand side might be, just because the traction is a, a lot better. Um, but either way, it should be. Oh, it should be A OK. Let's get up and over this. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit. So I, you'll, you'll be seeing this, I think, two days after this live stream happened. Uh, which was, it was meant to be a public lobby stream. However, because the Poboso servers have been absolute cheeks recently, uh, the first hour and 40 minutes of my stream, the servers weren't working. So it didn't really turn into much of a public lobby stream. So instead, a little bit of fast thinking, I thought, you know what, let's get everyone to send their setups uh, in, in my Discord 
again, link down below if you want to join it, and I go through and rate them. And I was so shocked that after an hour and 40 minutes of me literally scrolling through Discord, looking at people's in-game and IRL bike setups, there were still about 300 people, like, solid, sitting there watching. And it, can't, it did make me smile a bit, because it means that you boys do just enjoy me for the personality as well sometimes, and I think a lot of people were, were joining in. We obviously, we got some meme setups. We had Soru sending pictures of, like, Barry B. Benson in his car, and, like, someone sent uh, a picture of, like, a GTA mod of Shrek riding a motorbike as well. So you're always going to get that kind of goofiness in these, these those videos or streams. But I think it opens the door to me to be able to do a lot more. So I want to do some brainstorming stuff, just see if ways that I can get you guys involved in the streams a little bit more. Um, one idea on my head that I wanted to do in the past, but it just never came to fruition, was kind of watching some of your guys' clips and just giving my thoughts on them, seeing how maybe you can improve. Um, but I'm very, very open to suggestions. So if you can think of ways of getting all of you guys involved or you guys showing off something, I have no idea what that something might be, then let me know. Comment down below. Give me some inspiration, give me some ideas, and I'll have a read through them all and see what I think. Or alternatively, in the Discord, there is a video suggestions channel, which I'm more than welcome to uh, see. There's there's old Charlie. Is that the... I'm surprised. We've got four people in this server, and that's the first time I think I've seen anybody on the track. Um, obviously, Charlie gets a free pass, but both Smigdamp and Nicole, who have joined, are both members of the channel. So they're in here just having a, a rip around, having a little ride as well. Oh... God, we saved it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Right, so, let's get on the power. Let's get a little bit of speed behind us. I, I have to say, King MX818, you have done a very, very fun job here. I've really, really enjoyed this track, and I've done, so I'm on lap number seven now in total, and I feel like I've already got the entire track mapped out in my head. It's not difficult to learn whatsoever. Even though some of the jump faces are blind, a lot on the 250 at least you've not got to worry about your downsiding because you literally just send it as hard as you can and hope that you make it <laughs> i think on a 450 it would be a slightly different story you would probably have to check up on one or two of the jumps to not flat land it and get the good old uh, beta 18 front end issues on a 250 this is just a dream this is absolutely wide open and luckily we can't get around this track properly on some of the 125s because I watched the MX Bikes GP race the other day that gets hosted on Sundays and they went and done Mantova slash Lombardia, whichever one or two you want to call it. And I think there was three or four people that rode the TM125 in Moto1 and every single one of the, their bikes blew up. So that's the thing, um, if you are going to do any 125 races, probably steer clear of the TM. Bear in mind, this, these races were only 20 minutes long, and they all blew up before the halfway point of the race. So 10 minutes in of them being ridden hard, and they went bang. So I was, I was in Discord with Rum, who was sharing his screen. Luckily, he was on the uh, the Yami 125, not the TM, so his bike didn't go bang. However, McChicken was on the TM, and so was Mateo, and so was Cam. No, was it Cam? No, it wasn't Cam, it was Finn, sorry. And all of their bikes went bang, which I thought was just quite funny. And it definitely wasn't like a running out of fuel thing at all, which is what I thought it was at first, because Chicken still had four litres of fuel in his bike when it stopped working. And it's not like it was even just stalled and you couldn't get it going again. You know, he tried, he was pressing the button and it was, wasn't working. So I'm not sure if that is something that has been implemented into the game by design. But I know that you can blow up bikes before now because I've ridden the 1996 uh, CR125 in older betas and if you let's say you really quickly shift down to first gear while going at a higher speed the bike will also blow up um, but nowhere near as easy as this happened so I'm not sure if it's a bug I'm not sure if it's by design um, but I just threw it out there I don't know if there's going to be any changes made to that but luckily there's no uh, prize money on the line for that 125 championship so uh, even though people kind of missed out on their their moto points it's it's not the end of the world you know the championship doesn't mean much but just thank god it's not something that's translated over to the 250s or anything like that in that series and i'm going to be streaming the mx uh, gps at it's, I, so i always thought that the gp of argentina was pronounced necken but I, paul malin when i watched the mx the real life mx gp broadcast called it neuken so now I need to start pronouncing it slightly different. I don't know if Paul Malin is wrong. Uh, I'm sure we've got a couple of Argentinian people watching this. If you are one, please do let me know on the correct pronunciation. Because I always do 
try my very best to get pronunciations of names right, um, do, do let me know. But yeah, I'm going to be riding Neuken tonight at the point of me recording this video, which is Monday. And I'm going to go fully mute again. I've, I've kind of proved in the last Supercross race that i done that going mute seems to be the way forwards for me. Oh, we've got more people in here. Who have we got? Oh, I saw someone else. We've got... We've got Sloffy in here as well. Lovely. And then Carl's left and rejoined on a different bike. So it's good to see the members are getting use out of this. Absolutely love it. Big Ws. And yeah, like I said earlier, if you want to if you want to join and hop in and just see your name in game or even see yourself, you know what to do. And I'm, I'm very glad that... So <laughs> I never knew Smig before probably only a couple of months ago, I want to say. And randomly popped up out of the blue on one of my streams saying he had helped me out in setting all my Discord up and stuff like that. And he's become a very valuable member of this community. Uh, so show show Smiggy a little bit of love in there. Same as Soru as well. Soru's been there since literally day one. He's in every single stream helping to moderate and keep everyone under control. And I just feel like we've got such a nice community going on now. Uh, one, one of the benefits that came with that live stream the other day where I was just ranking people's uh, setups... Is our Discord gained like 200 members in a stream? Like not, not members as in like channel members, but you know, just people joining the Discord. Which was really, really cool, because I think we were stuck just under the 2000 mark for ages. Go and do that, and boom, absolutely flies up. So yeah, massive W to all of you, and just thank you for making it a nice community to be a part of. Because the last thing I want is for it to all turn toxic and everyone arguing with each other. And We try and keep the Discord fairly civilized and so some people would call it a bit strict you know we just we like things being in the correct channels and we don't like certain like bike models being shown off or asked for you know like the old ktm model swap and the 85s and things by alpha uh, alpha mods or gabriel they're just kind of a no-no other than that i feel like it's fairly chilled out lots of people always get some help in there and it's just a really nice place and i've started seeing recently uh just gonna shout out a few people is uh rylan uh i think i've seen josh i've seen a couple of other people being kind of regular user users of the voice lobbies so again if you're looking for people to play the game with and just chill out with it's starting to get more and more popular in the voice lobbies too so yeah go and find some like-minded people and have a little bit of a rip around like we are right now absolute barkage i have got charlie on mute right now i just thought i'd come and uh, do this by myself fancy a, a solo video today rather than going through the effort of uh, bleeping out all of his swearing i do apologize charlie uh, but very um random bit here if by any chance on monday the 13th of march you happen to be from the southeast of the uk and you happen to be in a mcdonald's earlier in the morning watching a Lin's video then Charlie what saw you uh, <laughs> I've got a message from him today saying as if I've just seen someone watching your video in McDonald's then I, I thought that was really really funny call me Mr Worldwide Mr 305 I just I don't know there's something weird about that very very small world especially as my videos recently have not been doing as great as they have in the past I feel like I'm a little bit smaller right now than I was before but shout out to you boys watching my videos in McDonald's if that was you then I'm not going to say comment down below because I feel like I'd get about 20 people saying that it was them and it's it's not actually. But there you go. You you have been in the presence of Charlie in real life. So how, how does that feel? In interesting, I bet. Uh, I, oh, God. There we go. Right. And I've been thinking as well earlier today that just in terms of video ideas and real life stuff, uh, I've got a few videos in mind that I want to do in terms of real life, which is like a day in the life kind of a vlog style that I want to do. Um, also want to do some more real life riding stuff i want to get charlie out at some point uh, i'd like to get reese out again as well maybe even at the same time as charlie make it a nice little threesome who knows and just do some more riding maybe try and talk a bit maybe edit a bit more so it's not riding only it's a little bit of the day as a whole you know do like i don't know time lapses of the drive there and just little bits here and there and try and come out of my, my shell a bit and try and be a little bit more creative in terms of videos because i'll be the first to admit that like MX bikes, I've been doing MX bikes for like two, has it been two years? I don't think it's been two years, it's been about a year and a half. I think it has, oh god, actually it is coming up to two years, I think I started in May of 2021. Oh damn, time flies, <laughs> time flies when you're stressed. So yeah, I've been doing MX bikes for videos for almost two years now, and I'll be the first to admit, every now and then it's bloody difficult to think of a video idea um some of them don't always go the way i plan every now and then i'll get an idea i'm like oh my god that's amazing and then i realize how much work goes into it um so right now i'm currently working on a 250 two stroke shootout video and then kind of forgot of how much how many laps i have to spin to make it all a fair test uh, what i'm trying to do is 
uh, ride each of the 252 strokes on an outdoors track and a supercross track. And I'm doing it based on feel this time, more so than lap times, because I think lap times can skew results sometimes, especially if you've been on the same track for a while, you probably end up warming up to the track and get faster and faster as the day goes on, but I'm kind of trying to switch back and forth. And I do, I like the shootout videos when they're done, but getting to that point is, it, it can be a lot of work sometimes. So, you know, it, it is what it is, but I hope when it does come out, you guys will enjoy it. It should only be another day or two from the point you see in this, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the very latest, if I don't get around to finishing it all. Um, but it should be good fun. Uh, the most stressful part of those videos is the bloody thumbnail, because I'm I'm no Photoshop whiz. Uh, I am a bit of a nail Photoshopper. I'd literally just use like the polygon tool to cut things out and hope that it all looks good. Add a bit of saturation and here and there and slap some words on it. And for these ones, I go and I cut out each and every bike, you know, in between all the spokes, all around the knobbies on the tyres, and it takes a very long time. I'm sure there's a much quicker way of doing it, but it's a bit of an L for me. It takes many, many hours of cutting all those out and slapping them on. But whilst it doesn't look like much, a lot of work has gone into it. So I appreciate the views on them shootouts. They always seem to do pretty damn good. And if we go back to this track right here, you can see I'm on lap 12 now. I, I'm barely making any mistakes. The track is very easy once you get your head around it, as I say that, in case that jump. And it's so fast that like, I am just flowing, vibing, having a good time. Loving the new bar pad that I've got on the Honda, by the way, if you was interested in this. You do have to be an OEM supporter. It's one of those additional downloads on the OEM website. Um, you go to, uh, you log in, you go to, I think it's GUID locks is the, the section. And you can go and download this as well. And I, I do, I do love the old fat bar pads. I think they look so nice. And that's a big W. Hopefully, I might see if I can get access to the PSD. I think they're coming out in the near future. I swear I saw that somewhere. Because I'd like to make it a little bit custom and just straight up red that it is right now. Um, but bikes looking good, tracks looking good, everything's looking good, and I hope you guys are feeling good and doing good as well. I, I certainly am. I'm quite a happy man today. I'm not sure what's happened. Maybe I've got an extra hour of sleep or something. Who knows? But if you've enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on the channel. Uh, on the channel? What I mean, I'm sure. Dro drop a like on the video. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Just feel free to become a member, as I said earlier, to get access to being included into some of these videos as well. And join the Discord. All those necessary links are in the description down below. And I greatly appreciate every single one of you. Have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you're up to. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.